welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay. So in today's video, I thought it'd be fun just to do a little like winter lookbook. I just have five outfits to put together for you. They are kind of like winter-esque, but I also live in Dubai. So you realize, you know, there's a lot of people around the world that live in other hot countries where it's summer for certain regions, such as Australia, you know, and South Africa, and it's winter for other parts of the world. So I figured let's just do like a winter lookbook, but like Dubai edition and share with you some of my favorite items that I've gotten this season. And also some cold weather appropriate outfits because I'm wearing leather pants right now, for God's sake, I'm hot. If you guys are here for it, definitely give the video a thumbs up. All items will be linked below to the best of my ability. And without further ado, let's get to the video. This outfit, obviously I live in Dubai, right? So I don't wear tights here like ever, it's not necessary. If you were to wear this in the winter time, wherever you're living, definitely invest in some tights. Any sort of tights will do, but for this outfit, basically I have paired this Sandro blouse that I got back in London in the fall with these mauve leather shorts, and then my Saint Laurent furry mules, and then just a classic Chanel flap. I think that it is just a really cute look. I really love these shorts. They're honestly like not too tight at all. They're really comfortable. I love the horse bit design just here as well. I think that they're really nice. Also what I love about these shorts is that they are really thick plush leather. Like honestly, you can really feel the quality. It's amazing. Uh, you just have to be careful because they are delicate, but these do not come too short. I did not want a leather short that was gonna be too short on me and exposing where I didn't want exposed. I was not into that. And I do love this blouse as well. It has really nice button detail just here. Nice little gold buttons. I like how they're flat like that. I love Sandro silk blouses. I think that they are a little bit of an investment, but they don't go as crazy as say Saint Laurent or Valentino blouses. They're about a tenth of the price. And with the shoes, super, super cute. So yeah, really, really into this outfit, guys. You could also pair this with a jacket, which I will show you now. Hey okay, guys, so here is the outfit. Obviously we have to throw on the sunnies as well. Now I absolutely adore this Sandro blazer. It is, I think, a permanent in their collection. They still have it. I got it a year and a half ago, so I love that. And with the sunnies, these are the Dior. I forget the name, I'll put it on the screen. Here are the glasses, just up close. Really love them. And then the blazer has these really nice kind of button details. I really, really enjoy. I love that extra little attention to detail there. And the lapels are quite wide as well. I really enjoy it. Okay guys, so for this outfit, I have my homage dress that I got in London and Paris, Texas. Patent leather 105 millimeter boots. Absolutely love them so much. They are painful, but I mean, pain is beauty, hello. I love this dress. It's very like, kind of like school girly, like kind of conservative on the top. And it can easily be like a tea time dress, you know, a brunch with your family, meeting your boyfriend's parents. But if you put a boot like this, with it, it's like, hello, we are ready to go on a date. We are ready to go out with the girls. I haven't seen the show Emily in Paris and I just feel like she's gonna be too boring for me. And the top part of this outfit without seeing the shoes could be reminiscent of the photos I've seen from that show. However, when you pair it with the Paris, Texas patent leather 105 millimeter stilettos, you get Emily's sexy cousin from Sweden. That's what we want. That's the vibe we're going for here. So really cool. I have paired this dress as well with just some basic Louboutin. I think the Ariza pump that I have is the name. Looks really nice as well, but this is great for winter. And as well, you can pair this with tights. I paired it with the Dior Caro. I really could have done a black bag with this. I thought the white bag with the gunmetal accents and then the white and black on the dress and the black boots. I think it kind of tied in nicely. What do you guys think? I mean, black is the obvious choice, but I just thought this was a cool integration of this bag. And then I can also show you how the strap changes as I didn't get to in my unboxing video. I forgot to show this function and I really like the bag like this as well. So yeah, there we have it. Outfit number two, outfit number two. 
Okay guys, outfit number three, and I apologize that it's getting a little bit dark. It might go a little bit grainy as I'm not directly in front of the ring light. I wanted to talk while I explain the outfits. It's from Sandro, this trench coat. I have gotten so many compliments on this when I was in London. Like people were stopping me, where is that from? Where is it from? It's from Sandro, it's this season. The skirt is also from Maj this season and the top is as well. So I'll try and link it all for you. Um, really, really cute. I've paired it with just my Valentino spike bag. It's such a classic. Kind of goes with the rocker vibes of the skirt. Really like that. Now with this trench coat, okay, you can belt it. The belt it comes with and just kind of wear it open like this. It's kind of a cool moment if it's just a chilly day. You know, the natural progression with this outfit in the winter is you would style this with a black turtleneck, which I have, but I'm sorry, I hate putting turtlenecks on with a burning passion if I'm not going out. It sucks your hair in, it sucks your makeup in. I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. Visualize the black turtleneck, but I do really love these items paired together as well. The detailing on the t-shirt as well, really, really gorgeous, honestly. It's got all of these beads, like crystals. Honestly, it has not lost a single crystal or bead at all. And I really do love this skirt, especially paired with the Paris Texas boots, because when you do wear kind of a more large and in charge draping trench coat like this, sometimes you want to have a shoe that's going to really balance with it, right? I don't want to put anything a little too boring. I have paired this before with jeans, a blouse, and Fendi sneakers. The trench coat looks really, really nice. But for an outfit like this with the skirt, I wanted to do something kind of sexy, but also you know, it's gonna provide a little bit of warmth with the boots and then obviously you would wear probably tights where you are living. And this coat also looks really, really nice if it is cinched with a designer belt, which I will show you. Belts that come with these coats, I mean, you know, they're okay, they're all right. They're kind of like entry level, you know what I mean? But if you really wanna like step it up a notch, you can top it with a designer belt. The only problem with this is if you are gonna be going in and out of, you know, fitting rooms, if you're shopping around, if you're gonna be going inside and outside all day long, it can be a bit annoying to be constantly taking off a belt like this. But here's just how it looks. It also helps you to control the jacket better because I find these kind of flimsy belts that come with these coats, they don't necessarily hold unless you double knot them and then it just gets a bit annoying taking it off. So this way you can control, you know, how much of you is really covered. You can have it kind of almost totally closed like this. I like to have it a bit open. You can, you know, show off the outfit a bit that way as well. Really, really nice. And I do really, really love just like how this looks. I think it's really cool. What do you guys think? Let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on the trench coat. I almost didn't get it. And then my friend was like, you have to get it. It's so nice. So yeah, it's a good one for Dubai right now. It is chilly at night. So it's definitely a good purchase and it's timeless. I wanted a trench coat that wasn't going to be the same as everybody else. And I definitely think I nailed it. And here are the buttons just close up. They say Sandro Paris. And then they have kind of like this detail just here. And then it does go all the way down as well. The coat, there are buttons um, down to here. So you can basically close it up to here. So yeah, really, really nice. And let me know what you guys think. Hey guys, look number four, I believe. Honestly, I love this outfit so much. Okay, so this is from the Palm Angels and the Sodi collab. I think you can still get it uh, online. So I'll link this sweater. Honestly, I love it so much. I love how the sleeves are like too long, but like it's on purpose. Like they kind of gather. I think this is actually an extra small women's, believe it or not. So I also like how the sweater, like it kind of comes up a little bit in the middle. It's very like retro vibes. Kind of an outfit if you're like, want to just go grab a coffee walk your dog quickly or just meet a friend do an errand or just like look chill it's so effortless but it also has that kind of like cool palm angels and a sony thing going on the capsule you know what i mean it's like a little like flex moment and i do really love how this is all embroidered as well it is not um screen printed or anything like that it is all embroidered and the sweater is so 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 warm i've worn this around london you can obviously top this with a puffer jacket I don't need to do that in Dubai at the moment, but you definitely can. I paired it also with these Fendi sneakers. They're called the FF or the Fendi Rise or something. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. And I really love these because 
the sole is quite thick as you can see so basically like if you are walking through any sort of like puddles it will protect you because the soles are high. So I like that because with designer sneakers, you don't want to get them ruined in bad weather, in cities, etc. So I really like with the thick sole on these, how they kind of like give you an extra little lift that way as well from rain. And these leggings, these are actually from a company called Mesh Key. They are out of Australia. They were about hundred Australian dollars. So about 80 something US. So quite affordable. They're honestly really, really comfortable. Um, they basically just look like this. And then the back is kind of like that. They're not too, too tight. Honestly, you guys have no idea how many years it's taken me to find a pair of fake leather leggings that I actually like and aren't atrocious quality. I've even tried leather leggings off Revolve and I've had no success. I find they don't wash properly if you get the faux leather. I wanted a real leather pair, but I just thought, you know what, they might get trashed and I'm not sure how much I will really wear them in Dubai. So I opted for the more affordable faux leather option. I will definitely link these for you as well. I know they are definitely a bit more of like a gathered leather look, but I think that they're really cool. They're definitely very warm as well. I've worn them in Canada. Okay guys, last outfit. It's just like if you're going for drinks, throw on a quick little puffer jacket. Super, super cozy. I mean, it's not the most like chic vibe, but you know, we've got a little Montclair action going on and then take off the puffer. Now you could style this with a trench as well. Just my experience from Canada. And if you live anywhere like that, it's just too cool. But if you want a quick jacket to throw on that kind of goes, a black puffer with this type of outfit, totally fine. Now, obviously tights. Now with a closed toe shoe like this, you can easily wear tights. Now the mules I showed you before, can't pair with tights because you're gonna have your toes sticking out and tights with mules and any open toe are just such a faux pas. They're a no go in my opinion. So that's why I chose these to give you the option if you were to wear tights. So I have this Karen Milling skirt. It was actually really affordable. I think it was about 55 Canadian dollars. Now Karen Millen always has online sales. This is my first experience with the brand. I ordered about six items. I think if I'm being honest with you, I only ended up liking two. So I'm glad I got this skirt because I have worn it out about three or four times already. And I think it's a really cool winter moment. I will show you just up close. It has this kind of cool like detail here. It's really like embroidered, it's a velvet. And then it also has these really cool little tassels on the side. So it's just kind of a cool touch. And this tassels give the skirt like a little bit of movement. They're kind of giving me like Etro vibes, but without the price tag really cool and then here are just the shoes classic red bottom really really nice and then i've paired it with a valentino belt it's a plain black zara turtleneck yes i came and put a turtleneck on i just had to i was like okay this is part of the outfit i think give me the same effect with the t-shirt so i had to so really really cute and basically this type of outfit i would pair with any sort of black bag Valentino's the easiest successful one to me right now. So really, really cute, or it could do the Chanel classic flap. Now the Dior, I am struggling a little bit matching with just with some of these winter looks because it is white. I don't really think that this bag works with this outfit, although I do love it. But luckily I live in a hot climate and I often wear light colors and whites and things like that and neutrals okay guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope that the quality turned out okay because i was standing like further back behind so the lighting didn't hit me as much i really hope you enjoyed this let me know if you want me to do it again sometime soon with just like different outfits as well i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did consider subscribing if you are new here and you like my style and i would love to have you back here if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and i love you all right, guys, I'm going to link some other videos here for you as well if you want to stay on my channel. And I hope you guys are doing really, really well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!